Hello, Super Zero. So today we're going to learn about how to add an instrument mid-score. So let's say you're writing a piece for like, let's say, string orchestra, right? And you get along towards the middle in here, and you want just a violin solo. Now you still want the first violin player to play their normal part, but you want just a single one of them to play a solo part. Or there's countless other solutions where you might want to add an instrument mid-score. So the first step is we're actually going to create a new stave for this instrument, and we're going to hide it everywhere if we don't want it to show up. And then we're going to also add that instrument into the respective part and make sure it's hidden on that one part. So there's several steps. This is going to be a little bit longer than normal. But once you get up and know how to use it, that should be really quick to do and it'll only take you like three minutes. So first, we're going to come over to our instrument manager and we're going to add a new instrument. We're going to add just a normal single violin player. Now, because this is a solo, I want to change the name to solo. And then over here to solo. Right, like that. The next thing we're going to do is for this specific instrument, we want it to collapse anywhere where it's not playing. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our staff tool. It's also this little drop of up here. Double click on it. Make sure that allow hiding when empty is selected. Highlight the entire thing, and then we're going to come over here to staff, all the way down at the bottom, hide staves when empty. And as you can see, it's hidden everywhere on every single staff. Of course, this is when it's empty, so typically I would save this step for the end where we already have some notes written in. So like I normally have some notes hidden in like that, right? And then we can come over here to our staff tool, select everything, and then we hit hide staffs or hide staves when empty. And you can see this stave is not hidden. This stave on the system is not hidden, but all other systems, it is hidden. So that's great. You can just start right there if you wanted to. Now we have to take this one instrument and put it into the part. So we're going to put this in the violin one part. That way they can also have the part, but they don't, you don't need like a separate part for just a couple measures. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come up here to the top, hit manage parts. And here you can see violin solo currently is one, its own part. We're going to delete this part. Instead, we want to edit the violin one part. Edit part definition. And we want to add violin solo one part to that part. And then after we do that, we want to make sure it moves up because I personally just like the solo part to be above the rest of the parts. Once we do that, hit OK. And we can come back here to the violin one part. And you can see now we have the second part right on top with the first part down below. For proof of purpose, I'm just going to break the empty multi-measure rests. That way we can also show that we have to go through the exact same process to hide this one part on everything else. So go to your staff tool, select it, make sure allow hiding when empty, select the entire thing, come over here, hit hide empty staves. And now again, it's only on that one part. And we can just do some sort of technique text on like solo like that. And then they know that that line's a solo and everyone else can just continue playing that one part. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know you want more content like this. And each week I post new content about using Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button.